Wake up. Wake up, rise and shine. That's right, baby. The California sun is here. And if you look into my eyes, you'll realize I've been telling the truth the whole time. Wipe the sleep out of your eyes. Snap out of your fantasy and check into reality. Check in to the Hotel California IA. That's right, baby. When I last left you, my words of wisdom were reality as the pink assassin in pink vision exited the ring with his hands held high. Hi, how are you? As the CWA light heavyweight champion of the world. Now, there's a couple problems that being a star of my stature, that being a star of my stature, there's a couple problems that rise to the surface. One, it's the stalkers, it's the paparazzi, it's the girls that want to just basically be with me, just walk down Rodeo for one night, and it's the people who want my autograph. What did I do, GQ John Rodeo? I went out and I got Enos, the Beverly Hills cop, to watch my back. And he took care of that problem. I'm in good hands with Allstate, baby. My personal G. Gordon Liddy by my side. That eliminated, that erased, erased our Arnold Schwarzenegger's film. That took care of problem number one. But there was one more problem that arose. There was one more problem that needed to be taken care of. And I've been writing a lot of scripts. I've been producing a lot of movies. I've been producing a lot of TV shows. I've been a very busy man. So what I had to do, I had to go out and I had to find a production assistant. I put an ad in the L.A. Times. Lo and behold, we got people like Quentin Tarantino. That ain't Pulp Fiction, baby. That's Pulp Truth. We got people like George Lucas. He wanted to drop Star Wars and he wanted to be with the biggest star in the war of the world. You know what I'm saying? Steven Spielberg, he, he sent in an application and so did John Grissom. But the man whose application I have accepted, the man who will be inaugurated into the Dream Factory, is without a doubt out of this world, baby. We're not talking Ron Howard, O-P-O-P-P, you know what I'm saying, G? We're not talking about him and Apollo 13. We're talking about a man who's out of this world. Actually, he's in this world. He's in California, Beverly Hills. Right, I know, 2 and oh, right now as we speak. But we're talking about a man who will take the greatest Hollywood stars like Wesley and Denzel, and he'll make them bigger. He'll make the pink assassin. He'll make them even pinker yet still. And he will make Colt Majors, the man who will make his CWA Hollywood premiere next week, the man who is the stuntman to the stars, the man who Jackie Chan himself even looks up to. He will be there next week, but the man who is right here, right now, by my side, ladies and gentlemen, the man who is the production assistant to the one and the only Dream Factory with GQ John Rodeo, is the superstar. He is the production assistant. Come on down, you're the next man, G. Step, 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 everybody, step. It is the superstar, Michael Lotto! Michael Lotto's here! Michael Lotto's here! And action! Action, action, action! <laughs> I love it! I love it! I love it! Totally known as Prince! Prince! <laughs> Young man, I don't know why he's here. Are we filming? Good. You know what you're doing? Are you in focus? Good. You ready to go? Your first question has to be an intelligent one. Otherwise, forget it. Well, I Graham... your first intelligent question. Grandpa, it's not so much that I have a question being that I'm John Rodeo from right, Beverly right, Hills. Right, right, right. But I just want to say that basically that hey, you, hey. You're, you've been an inspiration to me, Grandpa. I've been an inspiration to you and this is the way you turned out? What an inspiration that is. Oh it is. My God. I appreciate that compliment, Grandpa. Wherever I go, compliments fall. When I was a young man, people like Marlon Brando... Who? People like Lawrence Olivier, people yeah. like Al Lewis. Yeah. They are my heroes. Oh, they are my inspirations. They made me what I am today. Company. <laughs> Grandpa. You know something? What's I'm that? I'm glad I helped them in their career. <laughs> this guy's a, he's a riot. Without you, Grandpa, I would have doubted seriously that they named a street after me, let alone the most famous street in the history of the world. Really? Th that's true. I, I oh, tell man. no lies. Okay, drive. Now, Grandpa, obviously... You are one of the biggest stars in Hollywood. You've oh owned basketball God. teams. You love basketball. Oh, yeah, I'm a aficionado. What do you do to keep in great shape, Grandpa? Well, I chase young girls. That's the secret of living 86 years. Now, if you want to live to 87, don't catch them, because that'll age you quickly. <laughs> That's true, Grandpa. My entire life, this is why I'm in great physical shape, <laughs> because I have patterned my lifestyle. That's right, since and you haven't caught one yet. I can see by looking. And Grandpa, he's saying, a kidder. I know why no girl would come near you. Grandpa, I know my secrets are safe with you. That's the secret to my success. That's what Michael J. Fox told me to say, Grandpa. I, this is, I, I'm, 
Go ahead. Don't, don't stumble. Don't stumble. You want to tell me how great I am? Say it. Say it out loud. Say it. I'm a little bit choked up, Grandpa, no, don't but... Choked up. Just say I want to say Grandpa, that this... you are the greatest. This is one of these yeah, single... Hold this up. Wait, Grandpa will hold this up. <laughs> Just in case people don't know. Rodeo Drive. You understand? There is none in Boston, but there is one in Beverly Hills. Exactly. On the right. e on the West Coast, on the East Coast, Midwest, right. there's no bigger star than you, Al. Me, Al Lewis, Grandpa Munster. <laughs> Grandpa, thank you for coming. Oh, Th thank, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And let me A tell million you thanks. To all of your lovely, loyal viewers, I want to say to all of them, I would wish for all of you what I wish for myself. And if you ask for more than that, <laughs> God bless you. That's it. Grandpa, thank you so very much. Thank you.